Hello and welcome to my home garden. Today I'm going to go ahead and pick some greens. I'm going to pick kale, turnip greens, and also I have a few turnips that I'm going to pull and cook into a nice green vegetable dish. So let's get started. What I'm doing is I have my plants covered outside. It does get down into the 30s right now. So they have to be protected from the frost. I'm also getting these um, pulled and picked because tomorrow we're expecting perhaps our first snow. So I wanna go ahead and get some of these um, picked and into the pot to cook. So I need to take the covers off and that's what I'm doing right now. Here's some of that curly, curly kale. Now this is my cauliflower. I'm not going to touch the cauliflower today, but I am going to cover it up really well to make sure it's not impacted by the snow that's coming. So let me grab my, my pot that I'm going to put all my little greens in. So hang in. Here's the pan I'm going to use. Now when you're picking your greens, you need to pick them at the base of the plant. That way they will come back. So here I am. I'm going to pick it down at the base. Excuse the movement of my camera. It's a little hard to pick and hold the camera, but I'm trying to give you a close shot. Now these are nice and tender right now. Kale does really well in the fall. They're at their most tender and sweetest. And, and uh, what's going to happen is these are going to sprout back and grow me another, another batch of um, leaves in no time. Now I'm going to finish picking these and then I'll show you the turnips. Now I thought I'd show you my other buckets. These are the turnip greens. I'm growing these not only for the leaves but also for the turnip bulbs. Here's some more of that curly leaf. This is what I've picked so far from the other two buckets. Some more curly leaf kale and these are my turnips I'm hoping to get some bulbs turnip bulbs out of here so we'll see so I'm continue to pick and when I get to my turnips I'll bring you on in so here's the bucket of everything that I picked I only got two turnips today but that'll be fine I will go ahead and slice those up and put them in with the rest of the greens. So what I'm going to cook is a mix of kale, turnip greens, and those two little turnips to make a nice vegetable dish. And I'm going to show you that next. I'm at the sink now and I'm getting ready to wash the um, t uh, kale and the turnips and I'm going to wash these turnips too. They're pretty dirty because they came out of the ground so let me get these washed first. Now I'm going to end up cutting off these tops and these little ends 
I'm going to slice these up. Let me give you a better shot. So I'm going to end up cutting off these tops and these ends and slicing them up and putting them in with the dish. Now these came, these greens came from my garden, so I know um, no pesticides have been used on them. I'm just washing them to get off any dirt, and there shouldn't be any bugs on them this time of year, but you never know. And to see if there's any debris out there that may have gotten on it. Leaves have been falling out there, and you know, it is outside, so it's good, it's good to give them a good rinse. So I'm going to rinse these, and then I'm going to end up, even though they're small, I'm going to end up rolling these like that and slicing them, making them into small slices. And I'll show you that when I get to that point. So let me go ahead and get these washed. And I'll meet you back. At the stove, I have my pot with one medium round onion that I've chopped up and about, about a third quart of olive oil coming up the temperature in the pot. Now, I had mentioned that I'd like to chop these down a little bit. So, I'm going to do that. Let me move this out the way. So basically, these are not really large enough leaves where I want to roll each one individually. So I'm just going to bunch them up and cut through them. And then give a little bit of a turn and cut through it again. And I'm chopping them up because it tends to make them cook more evenly and also get the taste distributed better through the, um, the mixture of greens. So I just pop those in. I already pre-chopped these up. Get those all in there. Now, greens... It looks like a lot of greens. However, greens do cook down. It's going to go down to about half the amount that I have in here. So we do that. The little turnips that I had, I'm going to slice those up. too much about the thickness of it. I'm taking these about a quarter inch slices and I'm just going to drop them in. There they are, just like that on top. And for seasoning, I'm going to add some salt and pepper. Now that's going to be to taste. I'm going to start off with about a tablespoon of salt, a few grinds of black pepper, and when you cook, you basically are going to taste it as you go. The only exception to that is when you're cooking raw meat, raw poultry, and raw fish. You don't want to taste any of that raw, but for vegetables, I'm going to, like for this for example, I'm going to cook for a while and then I'll test it again for seasoning. I'm going to put about a cup of water in here. I'll be right back. Okay, that was one cup of water. I'm going to put a lid on here. I might give it a stir. Put a, a lid on it, and then I'll come back when it's done. 
I say these are pretty tender young leaves that I was using maybe about 45 minutes maybe an hour I'll let you know when I come back all right here's the finished product here's the greens I told you they were cooked down it's about half the amount that it was before that's a nice serving it'll serve a family easily serve that with some type of protein of your choice a nice piece of bread or a roll these you know greens really go good with sweet potatoes too so you can bake you a nice sweet potato do some candy sweet potatoes all very good accompaniments to the to the greens so I'm gonna go ahead and give a taste test okay the greens are done I'm gonna go in for a taste it's nice and yummy look at that that is so good okay I can smell the freshness and the greens just straight can you imagine straight from your pot in your on your deck straight to your pan you can't get any fresher than that I can't I can't describe it is the sweetness of the turnips the kale the few sliced up turnips that I have in there the salt and the olive oil and the pepper it's so tender and fresh the freshness is unbelievable it is so good it's delicious I suggest you go and try planting your own vegetables you don't need a large space I did my planting on the deck it's that simple so go ahead get your garden started coming up for the spring start thinking about what you want to plant and you can have some fresh vegetables going from your container garden to your kitchen to be cooked for you and your family thank you for stopping by and see you next time